now we're just going to do another one. The recipe for this will be available to you. You can modify it, change it, find one you like a little bit better. You can share that one with me. Again, my biggest deal trying to get these snack sticks has always been how much is enough but not too much, like Goldilocks. Some people, if they're having trouble extruding, will even let their meat warm up a little bit. I like to be very sanitary and I'm always a little leery of uh, having my meat in dangerous zones. We shoot deer, this happens to be a game animal, so when I shot her, tried to make sure we get good clean shots, but there's always a possibility you might get a little bit of something in there. It's one reason why all my recipes I use cure in there. And what cure is, is mostly salt but it's also a little sodium nitrate, sodium nitrite, and what else is in there? A little, a little propylene glycol, some kind of some kind of other little thing in there. I'm not a chemist, and I don't necessarily worry too much about it. Try to find the center. And if you get them too tight, when you go to pinch in the middle like this to make two of them, it'll make them too taut and they may burst on you. So again. Try to open it up, get a finger in there. We're going to go another round because I'll probably get about four of these in there, about two and a half pounds. Just skin it on. That's about all I'm going to get on that. Cut it and then we'll uh, tie this one. I tell you, you can really feel the difference in back pressure with this thing compared to the large diameter tubes that you might use to stuff uh, summer sausage or pepperoni, something like that. Just almost got to let it do its own rate. These nylon gears are just not as stout as cast zinc or whatever, but I'm not trying to win any races. Just trying to handle my own food that I feed my own son, my own family. And I got a little patience for this sort of thing. At least I know what's in it. This recipe is for pastrami sticks and I think I'm no butcher but I think pastrami typically is solid meat you know like corned beef rather than a sausage type format but I have to like the taste of pastrami breaks it up from the pepperoni sticks or the hickory sticks which are easy enough now I tell you, one of the things I do add in this are the little coriander seeds. And they're optional, you don't have to have them. But uh, they add that unique little, almost flowery, floral type of taste to it. That's unique to uh, pastrami. I like it. If you don't like it, don't put them in there. That's one of the things that about home sausage making is just such a treat. In my mind, is doing it the way you want. You can have some of your buddies come over. You know, y'all can each buy a little piece of equipment so it doesn't cost any of you too much money get together and have sausage making parties. You just need to keep a little away from the frosty libations while you're taking care of the real work. You can politic and 
But yeah, so that all you want. Okay, this is the hardest part, trying to guesstimate just how much footage you got left. I've already missed it once. Let's go for two. The way I actually think these casings are made out of gold is not. It's made out of collagen, which is derived from beef. As you can tell from the, how quickly and how easily this is going through there, just in the process of extruding these, the meat is warmed up a little bit. It still feels plenty cold. But getting toward the end. Well, that's the bottom. You don't want to turn too hard with the nylon gears, you might strip them, but that's all that machine's going to put out. That never would have happened in a million years. <laughs> I guess we must be living right. It's a little shorty, but it'll work. Pinch him in the middle. Give him a little twist. That's all she wrote. There is two and a half pounds of pastrami stick ready for the oven. We've broken our stuffer down. We've cleaned it. And I can't stress this enough using dishwashing detergent. Clean this thing. Take a brush. Clean the threads of your nut. Clean the threads of your spout. Slowly and gently take that silicone ring off and clean it with soapy water. Clean the groove. Take the air valve out. Clean it. Clean everything. You just can't be too clean. Adding water to the recipe is a double-edged sword. While you, many stuffers need it in order to extrude the material, sometimes it does make the mix a little bit wet, which is not a problem if you're using a dehydrator doing like a, a dry stick.